welcome back to Just Tay. Okay, so we having a little update. Let me let you know what's been going on, especially with the HS. So, um, everybody knows what HS is. It's the hydrogen tinnitus. Okay, and I have been dealing with it for a very long time. I just got actually diagnosed for real, for real with it a few years ago. Um, I take Humira once a week um unless like i had to stop taking it or something like that then um but it's once a week a shot in my stomach or whatever like that okay i've gotten pretty much used to it um the last couple of weeks though it was hard a lot of people don't even know this um i shared it this week actually with my mom and sister didn't know i was really going through it um as you guys see, I really haven't been doing a whole, whole lot with my hair. It's been in a ponytail. You probably can see that in some of the videos or just down, just letting it be. Um, I noticed that I started getting um, the bumps in my head again. Like, it's like a fucking uh, school zone. Um, <laughs> I can laugh about it now. It wasn't that funny at first because it does hurt. Um, and get some headaches and stuff like that. Or they bust. And then now you got this shit all over your hair. And your weave everywhere. Um, it's a little embarrassing. However, I say it's like a school zone. Because you know how sometimes in the school zone. They got the little speed bumps going through there. Like boom. You know. Boom. 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 And so that's how it is. Like it's just like not through there. And it hurts. And sometimes you got to turn your head a little bit differently. I don't really wear the scarf because sometimes it just, it's just, you know. But I had one, y'all, and it got pretty big, and then it just busted or whatever. And it was, like, all in my hair and stuff. It was pretty, pretty gross. But, so that's what that is. I have to, like, make sure, like, you, let, first off. This happened, y'all, and I was so happy that, you know, certain things didn't go through the way that they were supposed to. I didn't go nowhere. I was in the house or whatnot um, because it's like if you're laying on your pillow and this happens, you it can be on your pillow like and it turn. It's not something that you can hide because it stains it. It's what it is that comes out. Um, some people don't know like when they burst it's um like pus it's like clear liquid lots of blood so all of that mixed up it it turns into a crust festival yes a crust festival um so that was going on um so i said i'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this hair out um, because, like, the micro links, it's cool. But, like, when they're tightening, sometimes pressing up against those little knots, like I call them, it, it, can, it can hurt a little bit. So, I'm going to take it out. I'm going back to my braids. It actually helped a little bit more because I can get into my scalp a little bit better. And um, I think sometimes with my hair, because it is curly... Like, when I'm sweating and stuff, it gets tight at the roots or whatnot. It, I don't know. I really, I don't know why. But, so, then I had got two, three. It was three. I had two small ones and then one that was going big, like, around the areas that I had the surgery in before. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you, I was stressed. Um, really, I was. It was a lot, a whole lot, guys. I just was like, wow. I thought that this was over, which I know it's not over because it's a constant thing, but I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? I, I didn't eat any. I tried to stay away from the potatoes. I tried to stay away from everything, but... Shit happens, I guess. And so, I was really, like, started having anxiety again. And I don't think that helps because the more that I stressed about it, the more that it seemed to get bigger. And me, regardless to 
I've put this out there like this is what happens this is what's going on but um sometimes you keep it to yourself because it is a little bit embarrassing and if you're a person that's intimate or being intimate with someone you don't like people don't understand that shit like people don't understand for me i i was like you know i didn't even tell my mom and sister you know i tell them everything but i didn't i just couldn't like i didn't want to first off stress my mom out because all the stuff that we went through i didn't want to call the doctor because i felt like the doctor was going to say let's cut it open and i just can't i just couldn't i just i didn't want to take myself through that like i get scared now thinking about it because it was horrible and then at the time that i went through it like it like i was happy that they were removed but you go into like an isolation and when you go into that isolation And when you go into that isolation, it's really kind of hard to, um, come out of that because then people kind of feel like you was acting funny, which you was, I mean, and then people are like, you acting funny, you doing this, you doing that. And it's like, yeah, but I really didn't want to talk about what, um, I didn't want to talk about what you know what was going on or what goes through my mind with that or the fact that this is what i've been through and you think that you're doing things right and then it comes back again and then one of them oh my god y'all it was so painful so painful and the place that it was in it was let me tell you something i was like what the fuck? and let me tell you one thing that is good to have is um the um shower heads the what do you call that um detachable shower heads because hot water helps a lot um i it helps a whole lot like get it as hot as you can sitting in um like hot baths and stuff like that is great i just it it was a lot so and then I noticed also that it also happens like around the time that my period comes. It seems like um, I start to get more, um, my skin gets inflamed a little bit more. I don't understand it. Um, but yeah, it happens like around my period time. This time it was just worse. And so, like, I'm laying in the bed. I didn't want to do nothing. I just lay in the bed, like, forget it. Didn't say nothing until I was like, I can't take it. It just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I could feel it on the inside. It hasn't come, like, all the way to the forefront. And it just gets harder and harder. And the only thing, like, I'm having anxiety because I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want nobody to see this. I don't want nobody to touch this. I don't want this to happen. Like, what if it burst at the wrong time? Y'all don't understand because one time, y'all, I had one that burst. And it had got, like, it was so bad. It was at work. Y'all, I was so fucking embarrassed. Y'all know on the other videos, I don't like to be embarrassed. I was so damn embarrassed. I was. But, I, so that is the shit that you worry about. So, it was getting bigger, so I'm trying, like, I'm adding pressure to it. I'm trying to see, like, if I can get a wax to see if there's an ingrown hair or something, anything. And couldn't get one booked i'm thinking like hell i do it myself but i don't know so it's been for a couple of weeks dealing with this finally this week y'all i would have to say 
Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Y'all, I was just like stressed, 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 stressed. I'm trying to do this school stuff. And so that's even more stress. And I know that stress also can trigger this. So I'm just stressing, stressing, stressing myself out. And it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The other one, the other. Uh, the other ones kind of wasn't the one of them had actually went away and the other one was getting smaller and smaller but this one i was like in the place that was on i was like oh my god y'all i run errands i'm trying to do everything and then finally i'm in the restroom or whatever i'm getting i'm running back and forth running back and forth y'all it busted luckily it bust while i was at home by myself and because it was horrible it was horrible it was horrible you just think like and i know that there's people that has it worse than me so i was like screw this i have to figure this out so this week i'm going and I'm just ready to eliminate everything from my diet. Um, I ordered uh, the juicer. We're doing that. Like, I have to because I can't do this. Like, I need to figure it out. And I don't know. I know it's something that I will constantly deal with. But I just want to make sure it's nothing that I'm doing wrong. So, I um, ordered this juicer. And this week, I'm going on a whole cleansing. Like, I'm going to do a detox, and then I'm just juicing. And I'm going to start back over and slowly introduce the um, thing, different foods back into my diet. You know, like, start, I, of course, I always start with seafood. And I kind of work my way up. And that's what I'm going to do because I have to figure it out. I just wanted to update this because it's not all great. And I don't want the people that are dealing with this from the HS community to feel like because you're going through it that you're the only one that's going through it or why aren't you healed from it or anything like that because that's the shit that I was thinking. And it's not that easy, y'all. It's really not. It's a constant battle. Make sure you're taking your medications. Make sure that, you know, you're detoxing your body, that... You're doing everything that's great for you. And sometimes you're going to have to go back to the drawing board to figure it out. Sometimes you have to say, damn, something went wrong or what was I doing or anything like that. I got so frustrated. I was like, well, I should have just had a drink. I ain't been drinking in this long and then this happened and I ain't even doing this. And it's like, you can't have that mindset. Keep doing what you're doing and then figure Figure out what it is that you need to do. And so that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully that will help even with my head. Um, but help with everywhere, all over. Because it, it let me tell you, it was, it was hard. But it busted. Um, and it actually went down. <laughs> well, it's so funny because... It happened at an impromptu time. Like, I had a whole, like, date this weekend and everything. And I was like, I don't ever, I don't like, like, canceling a date or anything like that. And I really enjoy their company and stuff. But then it's kind of like, when you're going through this, sometimes you just, you don't want to be alone. No, but you don't want, like some people can't deal with it. And it's fine that they can't deal with it. It's, I hell, I'm learning how to deal with it, but it's still kind of, it hurts. You know, when people don't know how to deal with that because, and yeah, I'm open about it. Um, I think that the last time, like, I don't know. I guess I still have my own type of insecurities about it. 
um, dealing with people, especially being intimate with people, it's kind of like, you know, you get people that be like, ugh, or if they see it where when it's inflamed or something, or even just looking at the scars under my arm, some people are like, I don't like that. I can't deal with it. And you can't be upset for people saying that they don't want to deal with that. I get it because it can be a lot. Hell, I don't want to deal with it, but I have to. But I guess that's where it comes in at, like, when you find people that just want to deal with you. Like, I show my mama. <laughs> and, y'all, when I show her, she's like, well, it could be. What? Like, I'm glad it's not like that one. But if you want to call the doctor, call him and I'll help you, baby. I'll pack it. She's the real MVP because, let me tell you something, she was like a doctor. I'm so appreciative of that, though. I don't know if I've told her how much I appreciate it. But anyway, guys, so I don't want you guys to think, I don't want you guys to think that having the surgery heals all, cures all, because it doesn't. It does make it better. Um, but it's a everyday struggle. If you're dealing with it, don't give up on yourself. Just keep trying to figure it out. It, we have good days. We have bad days. You need an excellent support group. That's the number one thing. And it's easier said than done because, hell, I'm doing it. But you have to find those people that you can talk to. Holding it in only keeps it in. And I feel like it just it makes things worse. So find your friends and family. Talk to them. But know that it does not just all cure overnight. It's going to be hard, Okay. But we will get through it. We get through it. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, it's still a little sore from where it burst um, or whatnot. But it's down. So I'm happy. I'm going to tell you guys. I'll update you guys about my head and stuff like that. But don't give up. Share your story because there are so many people out there that are looking for what happened. So there you have it. That's my latest HS update. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you're going through this and need some support, I'm here. Um, reach out. Um, and we can get through this together. But thanks for listening. Thanks to friends and family, especially my family, for putting up when I go into my shell and don't want to be bothered. I slash out, things like that. Like, it's not... I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying thank you for bearing with me as I learn how to deal with this still years later. Um, it's a struggle, but thank you. And thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.